Welcome back, weirdos. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. I know you don't usually see me start a movie, a movie, well, you know, a video like this, but I had a lot of requests to show how I do certain nail shapes. So I figured I would show you. If you're wondering what I have on my nails, I am wearing these uh, extensions. You may have seen it in a previous video. I'll leave it up in the cards. The BT Artbox full cover colored extensions. These are in the peach tone, which are absolutely beautiful. I did the pink last time. I'm going to go ahead and get this on the nail. I'm going to use some nail glue, and then I'm going to show you how I get this shaped up into a beautiful coffin. If you want to see a very in-detail step-by-step video on how I apply full cover extensions, both with nail glue and with gel, I'll make sure to leave that video up in the cards for you as well. I'm going to prep my nail with peel-off base coat because I don't keep nails on very long but if you want your nails to last you're going to want to skip peel off base coat altogether and prep your nails as you normally would so i'm going to go ahead and let this dry this usually takes me about five to seven minutes to air dry you do not have to cure this peel off base coat and then we're going to get into installation and filing So once that is completely dried down, I'm going to get my tip ready to go. I'm using this nail glue. I'm going to put a little bit into the well of the tip, just where you want it to cover your natural nail. And then I'll leave a little bit extra glue in the cuticle area. And that will seep down when I place it on the nail from cuticle to free edge. So it covers the entire nail. I'm going to press and hold. And I do like to hold this nail glue in place for about 30 seconds to a minute, just to make sure it's completely set and I don't have any air bubbles in it. So once that is completely set, I'm gonna start marking and mapping out where I want my shape to be. This is gonna have a completely flat, square, free edge. And then, I don't know if you can tell from the video, but the side walls of this nail are pretty curved. They're kind of rounded as an almond shape should be, and I want them very straight. Coffin nails are kind of famous for their super straight edges and flat free edge. So I want this to be super straight. So I'm gonna take off a little bit of that curve on the side, which I'm gonna show you here with my file here in a bit. In an effort to save a little filing time, I'm gonna take my tip cutters and I'm gonna nip the tip, if you will, and make sure I get that edge off and exactly the length that I want. I leave it a little bit longer than you intend because you're gonna do a little bit of filing, but you wanna nip the tip and make sure that edge is as close to flat as possible. Now I'm gonna take my hand file. This is a 150 grit hand file. I'm gonna start by going up and down, keeping the file flat against the free edge of that nail then you can go back and forth and this is really your preference but you don't want to rock the file you want to make sure that file is flat on the edge of the nail and filing you want to take your time you want to stop every few seconds see where you're at dust off the stuff all over your nail so you can really get a good picture of what your shape is looking like and go from there once you have your free edge where you want it then you're going to start on the sides So similarly to the free edge of the nail, you wanna make sure when you're filing the sides that your file is completely straight up and down and flat against the side of the nail. You don't want it to be underneath the nail or over top of the nail. You wanna make sure it's right up flat against the side. And again, you're not gonna rock your file. We're gonna keep going straight. You wanna maintain contact with the nail the entire time. This will help give you a very straight edge to the nail. So hopefully you can see a difference between the two sides. This side is super flat while that side still has a curve to it. And that's what I want. I wanna make sure I'm getting these sides as straight as possible. If you like a curvier nail, by all means, leave your curves. That's totally fine. These nail shapes are a theory really, and not so much a technicality in my world at least. You are free to have your nail whatever shape you like. Once you have that side done, we're gonna move on to the other side and I'm gonna do the exact same thing, keeping my file as flat to the nail as possible. And if you struggle doing your dominant hand, use your, use your dominant hand. Instead of moving the file, move your hand up against the file. I know I struggle to dominant hand stuff is always exponentially more difficult for me, but you can use your hand and move it up against the file if that is a struggle for you. So again, stopping every so often to assess, 
making sure my free edge is crisp and those sides are crisp. And once I'm done filing and I like the shape, I'm gonna grab my buffing block and smooth everything out. If you have anything hanging underneath your sides, you can take your file super gentle because you don't wanna take away your sidewalls and clean up that underside of the nail. Essentially, you want the growth channel of your nail, which is the indentation, if you will, between your nail and your skin. You want that to kind of line up with the edge of the nail. So clean that up if you have anything hanging underneath. So I got all my filing and buffing done and I think I'm finally happy with the shape. This coffin nail is so beautiful. It's so simple to do. Let me know down below what shape you want me to do next. All I did for this manicure was top coat and chrome. That's it. The tips needed nothing else. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope the rest of your day is as beautiful as you are and I will catch you in the next one. Love you. Bye.